Greetings, my friends. Do you trust NASA? I trust NASA about as much as I trust Barack Hussein Obama, and that is no trust at all. I believe NASA is a nefarious organization. I believe they have no allegiance to America. I believe they are a rogue organization who are basically a tool of the devil, and God may end up using them as well. Here's what's going on. It's a fact. It's, it's an undisputable fact that during the very near tribulation, great tribulation time frame, that an asteroid will hit the Earth and wipe out billions with a B. Billions. That's about a third of the population. Destroy all the drinking water, the oceans, ocean life. Just wreak havoc, flora, fauna, just, just tear the world to pieces. This is going to happen. It's a done deal. How NASA ties in is the geniuses at NASA have come up with an asteroid deflector. Now, they're going to try to play God. They are they're, they're doing it. It's not a myth. It's not a, it's not a plan. It's not um, a, a future thing. It's happening right now. They're getting ready to start deflecting asteroids in space. Now, what could possibly go wrong with that, right? I believe God may very well use NASA, because God, cause God used, has, has used man to destroy himself so many times when man has gotten cocky and haughty and arrogant and uppity. God has messed him up throughout. Starting with the Tower of Babel, no, actually starting with, with the Flood. Tower of Babel, Sodom and Gomorrah, it goes on and on and on. Um, the Israelites in the wilderness. And God could use NASA's meddling in space to actually deflect an asteroid by mistake, unless they're doing it on purpose. The devil could use them to do it on purpose. But God <coughs> could use them to do it mistakenly, bring that asteroid right to Earth, and wipe out billions. Like I said, it's going to happen. Believe what you want to believe. I'm telling you the facts. This is why I'm saying this. You need to make sure at all times that your heart is right with Jesus Christ. If you've never been saved by Jesus Christ, precious blood, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in a box below the video. You pray that prayer and do those steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed another second of your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, any reason, you contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. And backslidden Christians, I know you don't think you're backslidden. You can make an honest mistake and misinterpret the Bible and think you'll need to repent. God doesn't accept honest mistakes. You'll still spend forever in hell in the lake of fire if you're wrong. If I'm wrong, I still go to heaven because I believe like you do in salvation and everything you believe in, but I also know repentance is true. So I've got all the bases covered. You need to pray that prayer and do those steps as soon as possible as well. True Christians spend all your waking moments with us in praying constantly because our time is truly short. I don't want to see anyone die and go to hell. Even those that hate my guts, I want to see them in heaven. And look up, my true friends, Christian friends, our different draws and I. To fly soon. Share this video and get the word out.